to my channel Banzal Biology. In today's video, we are going to learn about the penetrance and expressivity. What is penetrance and what is expressivity? For example, earlier what we have studied, we have studied that if there is a capital or dominant allele, then it will express itself and it will show the characteristic. For example, if we take the uh, example of pea plant, then if we say that R R is the condition, capital R and small R is the condition, then always the seed will be round C. But in penny trends, it is said that it is not necessary that if the capital R or capital allele is present, then it will always express itself. There is there can be a chances that it will not always express itself and it will express sometimes only. So penetrance is the people of oh, sorry the penetrance is the number of organism showing the result or showing the characteristic out of the organism which should show the uh, characteristic. If we see in the details, for example, for example, in polydactyly, that is extra toe or finger. In humans, in humans, this is caused by a, a dominant allele. This is caused by a dominant allele. If this dominant allele is present, we will say that polydactyly will occur. But this doesn't occur always. It occurs only sometimes. For example, if there are forty-two organism, forty-two organism having Polydactyly allele, polydactyly allele, only 38 organism show its character. That is extra toe or extra finger. So only 38 organisms are showing, rest of the 4 organisms are not showing polydactyly. So it is not compulsory that if uh, we have a allele, then it will always express itself. This is said by the penetrance. This is what penetrance say. So if we see this 38 by 42 will be 0 0.9 and it will be 90%. So 90% of the organisms are showing polydactyly or we can say 90% of the organisms are showing penetrance. 90% of the organisms are showing penetrance, rest of the 10% are showing incomplete penetrance. That is, they have the allele but they are not showing the characteristic. That is what incomplete, incomplete penetrance. That is, even after presence of, presence of dominant allele, dominant allele organism is not showing the characteristic the characteristic that is what penetrance incomplete penetrance and this is what penetrance is like that the number of organisms that are showing the characteristic out of the number which should show the characteristic and which have the genome so this is what penetrance is and what is expressibility? Expressibility is the that specific allele can express itself in different manner. Like it can express in 100%, 70%, in 60%. It can express differently in different uh, organisms. It vary. Uh, in some organisms it will be 100%, in some organism maybe it will be 50%. So the degree of, it is the degree of expression of particular allele of particular allele can be different can be different in different organs in different organs for example if we once again take the example of polydactyly so then if we say that the organisms have this allele, this dominant allele, polydactyly allele, but in some organism, but in some organism, it can occur that the extra toe and finger is fully functional. Is fully functional. What is the meaning of that? That the expression of this gene has occurred totally. The expressibility is total. That 
that's why it is totally function but it can occur that in some organism just extra skin is present just extra skin is present that is not functional that is not functional so the expressibility is different the allele is same but the allele is expressing itself at different degree that is the expressibility and the penetrance is the number of organisms that are actually showing the allele characteristic that is what penetrance so i hope this video has helped you to uh, understand this topic very well thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much